Energy Square! Energy Square is an incredibly important project for HCR. It represents for us two important things, both opportunity for the residents who get to live here, for the uh, homeless youth who will have an opportunity to uh, get a roof over their head and a stable place to live, and also sustainability, right? The first net zero project in the Hudson Valley and the incredible opportunity that a sustainable, incredibly energy efficient building like this provides, it's a home run. The city of Kingston is really undergoing a transformation. In some cases, when that happens, it can leave local residents behind. This project is part of a number of projects that work to ensure that the opportunities that are being developed are ones that can be accessed by all Kingstonians. We're all working together to provide as much as we can for the community. Arts, education, culture, technology, housing, and it's net zero. This is what the future, this is what 21st century creativity is about. For the better part of 40 years, I worked here at this site, at Ferraro's Mid-City Lanes. <laughs> so it's just a little surreal that, you know, for 40 years I came to work here at 20 Cedar Street, and uh, now I reside here. I think it was around five, six years ago, I walked into the CCE facility over on Railroad Avenue and we had kids dancing in the lobby. We had more kids drumming in the hallways and then fortunately we had a very kind landlord and the other tenants didn't complain too much. But I remember thinking, boy, we need a bigger space. Using Ev's term, we started busing at the seams. We needed more space. We grew out of where we were. We provided pretty much all we can, but we knew that we had a vision that could expand way beyond what we were doing. Well, Evan Drew came to us. They were co-directors of the center at the time. They had outgrown their space, and uh, could Rupco help the Center for Creative Education find a new home? They wanted to remain here in Midtown Kingston. We noticed that right here on Cedar Street, the former bowling alley had gone out. I think it took Kevin maybe two weeks, maybe less, to get back to me and go, you know that old bowling alley? And I said, yeah, that'd be an ideal spot. So that's how it all that's how it all started. We had discussed um, doing more than housing and what would that look like. This is a product of that discussion, the mixed use housing, providing someone with a place to live but with other opportunities. We are standing on the second floor elevated recreational deck of Energy Square. It's going to offer 57 affordable apartments above approximately 12,000 square foot of commercial space on the first floor. And we assembled a great team. I have a tremendous staff. Rupco is led by a, a really great board of directors that has allowed us to see things, to have vision, and to uh, pursue the resources needed to create those visions. We worked with uh, Dutton Architecture, Integral Building Solutions out of New Pulse as our energy consultant. Affordable Housing Concepts was, was the, uh, our general contractor on the job. Working with my staff to put together the financing. None of this happens, of course, without our great partner, the New York State Homes and Community Renewal. Um, HCR is at the forefront front of doing housing and community development work. We get a chance to weigh in on the direction of the organization and we ask a lot of questions. Our job is really to, um, to be part of the discussion about new projects and um, from anything from financing of those projects to community collaborations. In so many ways, this is an absolutely transformative project. This is right in the heart of Midtown, right in the heart of many of the greatest challenges we have in the city of Kingston and in Ulster County. And to have this center here to really emanate out this sense of community and a place that everyone can afford to live in, in great housing with dignity in a, in a community that supports each other. This, I hope this emanates out and ripples out across our whole county.
We are very excited about Energy Square. We are very lucky to be able to provide seven apartments to young homeless adults between the ages of 18 to 25 who are currently experiencing homelessness. And we are excited to welcome them into this beautiful building with new apartments. Along with the housing subsidy, they also receive case management through our local nonprofit, Family of Woodstock. And we work with them to become more stable, finish their education, find employment, and become great citizens of Kingston. It's got the draw, which also is engaging the community and art. And now it's got Seasoned Delicious, which is a cafe slash takeout restaurant, minority owned and serves in stocks 90% minority owned products. It's really neat because the the entire building, even the commercial spaces, are really mission-based for what we do. We've just uh, put up our new classes for registration and we're getting great response. And we're able to give scholarships to make it accessible. We pay for all materials and that just makes a difference and so people are just very happy and excited that we're here. Over 90% of our products in our store are made by minority makers and many of them are women as well. We made sure that our business model really uplifted the struggles that we see and the communities come out and support us wonderfully and it's been incredible. People think of nonprofit housing and I think they always think really, really low income housing and this has a mix. It's got different AMIs which are area median incomes from 30 all the way up to basically 90% AMI. And that's really neat to put together a mix of people. I love living here. I love the people. I love how clean it is. I feel very safe here. I was living somewhere else before where I did not feel safe. For a three bedroom, you can't beat the price here. Everything's included. Right in the middle of Kingston, I live a block away from one of my jobs. I uh, work a lot, so to have her in the same building as I am, and to be able to just see my grandchild and to see my daughter whenever I can squeeze in a few minutes here and there, it's like, it's just amazing. I feel great because it has been very hard. I've been looking for apartments for years. Last year, I was in an apartment, it was inefficiency, and it was horrible. I would have never been able to have her. We don't have an electric bill. It's all solar panel and geothermal energy. We have a net zero component between a 300 kW solar array, as well as a heating and cooling system consisting completely of geothermally driven heat pumps for the apartments as well as the commercial spaces. Essentially you have tenants not getting utility bills, which in any market is amazing. And the affordable housing market uh, is fantastic. It's pretty easy to do net zero um, in Arizona or in other sunny parts of the world. Um, to be able to achieve net zero energy in the Northeast with all kinds of winters is really remarkable. consider this a, a blessing and everything, you know, to, to be, be able to have a beautiful building like this. And, no, I guess I must have been destined to be on Cedar Street. <laughs> so it feels good. We're all blessed. And we hope that we can serve as a model for other uh, communities that, that need what we have and what we've created by just staying open and trying to find all ways to do things differently. What it does for Midtown is it helps build a community. And that's really what we want to see happen. And we want people to be able to live in buildings like this so that they can then walk and bike. They're close to arts and cultural institutions. That's really where we want people to live um, going forward in the future. It's really a, a testimony to uh, Rupco's ability and our best effort to respond to a community need and to uh, create right here in town um, mixed income, mixed use, um, and it's just a tremendous example of what uh, our nonprofit can do.